welcome to my channel Fatsy Keto. My friends call me Jilly. I've lost 200 pounds on a ketogenic journey, but I'm not done yet. Not at all. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here um, and you want to subscribe and see the rest of my journey, I got about 20 more pounds to go. If you want to see my daily life, plus see how I maintain once I get there. I'm really good at maintaining. Like, I can maintain all day long. It's the going down that can be difficult. I have to be so strict and now. It's crazy to me. You're probably going to hear the birds because I'm outside right now. It's been storming for a couple of days. It's still a little nasty, but I wanted out of the house for a few minutes. I also have to run to my daughter's school and get her textbook. So if you're new to my channel, I talk about keto. I talk about what I eat. I talk about everything I've heard about keto and read about keto. Like, I watch other YouTubers. I watch every keto doctor I can get my hands on because they each have a different approach to keto. Even though they're both keto, they just doesn't, they don't always work for everyone. There's multiple ways of doing keto. Also, I do tons of research all day long because I want to stay up on all the new um, programs out there, research out there, new snacks out there. Um, usually new snacks is not clean keto. So if you're clean keto and you're grinding your teeth right now, sorry, but we do dirty, clean, lazy, you name it. Everything's done here. I pay attention to everything. I have been extremely strict clean keto though since about April, other than a one day here or there. Um, when I mean one day, I mean like one day a month, like yesterday. Yesterday I tried some keto ice creams. I can't weigh in today because my scale just isn't working, okay? All week long, the scale is giving me multiple numbers. I'm giving y'all the highest number each time um, because I don't know what it is. But it's pretty much staying 170.2. And I can reset it all day long, even put something lighter, and it's still in the 170s. And it shouldn't be. So maybe it's fine, but maybe it's not. So I did order a new one. Like, because it, it can't weigh down. Like, when I put something that it just won't register that... And it says it still weighs 170. And it's an old fashioned video camera that doesn't. It weighs about 20 pounds. But no matter what I stick on there, no matter if I get on there with something else, it's still sticking in those 170s. So even if that is the correct number, the scale is not acting right. So hopefully my new scale comes in the day and I can use it tomorrow, but I'm not 100% sure. Usually I record what I eat and what I do, like my activity and stuff on Saturdays, but I do not upload usually Saturday night. Um, I always upload Friday night, but we will see this week. I'm not 100% sure. I just like to take one day because it takes about 12 hours per video to upload. And I kind of want to be able to use my internet all night long if I want to on a Saturday night. Because once I start uploading, it's done. No more watching TV, no doing Oculus, um, which is a VR headset where I do my exercise and stuff. No doing anything that requires internet. Even turning on and off my lights inside my house is a headache. Because I have Alexa and Google, both of them, and they control my whole house. I've gotten addicted to them and slowly brought all the things I need for them over the last three years. And now, other than my AC, everything is controlled by them. Because that's a little too expensive. Maybe one day I can afford it and I can turn my AC in, into it. But then, when the internet goes out, that's a problem. I have serious problems when the internet goes out trying to turn my own lights on and off. I know, crazy. But, I love them so much, I can't get them up. So far today, I've had a collagen coffee. I'm, I'll show you my numbers real fast for my calories, you know, my little carb manager thing. Um, I'll stick it in right now with my Fitbit reading. I think that's the only two readings I have today because I did not do the GKI today. I kind of don't want to waste um, the strips right now. I am can't even weigh, you know. I, I did take my um, blood sugar yesterday about an hour after eating the ice cream, I did go back and finish a whole serving of the Enlightened, which is one net carb. And my blood sugar had already started in the 90s, so it only went up like two points. I'm gonna do it better another day, like first thing in the morning. I will be doing a test, just not yet on it. Um, 
maybe this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. But I really do want to do a test and see how it affects me. I want to start doing that on ice creams and stuff. I really want to test tons of stuff. The only problem is I also still want to continue my cut. This month has not been so great on my cut because I'm eating those whisks. And on my cut, I don't allow myself whisks. I don't care if it's in my carb network. I don't care if it's in my calories for the day. I don't like adding any processed things, including the ice cream, when I'm on my cut. So this month has been a relaxed month. Starting in October until Thanksgiving though, my butt is going to try my best to do a cut again. Like, not do processed stuff. Now, okay, maybe I should just say October up until Halloween because I plan on making some pumpkin stuff for the month of November. I'm trying the pumpkin thing again. Plus, on the 1st of October, I have, sorry, a spider caught my eye. I have a mix from Good Deeds. Um, they have a, they have a pumpkin one that I can't get my hands on right now because I don't, I'm, I don't like paying shipping and handling, so I order everything on Amazon. Um, I will buy tons of stuff if they give you free shipping and handling once you spend a certain amount of money, but they don't seem to have that on their website. I really want to try the pumpkin spice, but I'm not paying shipping and handling. I mean, it's $10 for the bag already, and then you pay $5 shipping and handling, and you just pay $15 for some pumpkin muffins that I can just make from scratch. Yes, I had a fell last time, but I got a better recipe this time. I'm going to try again. Um, also, I didn't have baking powder. I do now. Um, so yeah, but I have a blueberry coming through my Amazon um, next month on the first of every month because keto products are so expensive. I do have a monthly subscription of stuff from Amazon. It is some keto stuff, some of my family's like soaps and dishwasher stuff. Um, and it comes every month and you get 15% off. So instead of paying 10 or $11 for the muffins, I end up paying about $8 for the bag of muffins. Um, my little Conte little drops, they're like $11 to $12 at Walmart if I was to order them. But doing the monthly thing, they're like eight something a piece. Um, I was doing my collagen that way through Amazon, but they have been out of stock for so long that I ended up going over to Perfect Keto's website and ordering monthly subscriptions from them, which gets you 15% off. So three containers is $100. A lot of money I know but it is my breakfast and it is my lunch uh, for 30 days a month so to me a hundred dollars for all those days is not a lot and if I can be good and only drink one or two a day it goes into the next month as well but I've been being bad drinking about three a day I need to go back to how I was doing it I was doing half a scoops um, but I needed to up my calories. My calories were only like six and seven hundred. So I upped them by doing more scoops of collagen. I'm not an eater. I, I'm, I'm a drinker. Like I like to drink my calories. It's really hard for me to eat. Except those whisks. Those whisks and that ice cream helped up my calories drastically yesterday because I really love those whisks. Like I had never tried the nachos. I had never tried ranch. And holy crap, I was in love with them. Like I totally love them to death. Uh, so yeah I can eat calories in those things I ate a whole little bag of them they're like two ounces or something oh so good so I put that on my I thought the pepper jack was the best and now I, the pepper jack's my least favorite nacho and ranch are my favorites now almost tied so I put them on my monthly subscription too so I can get them cheaper than buying them at the store so that's what I do. That's how I get some of my products. It is way cheaper for me to get monthly subscription on Amazon and pay it all at once than to run into these local stores and try to buy any kind of keto products. If you're not new, you've seen in my house multiple times all the keto stuff I have, like fat bombs and stuff like that, but I don't eat them. Not 99% of the time. 99, they last for months. Like some of them expire in 2022. So I buy them when they're on sale and put them in my house. So I have them when I need them or when I'm going on a trip, I have them 
or if I ever get to maintaining, I'll be able to eat them. So why not buy them while they're on crazy sales? Because they are very expensive. So when I have coupons, when I find a crazy sale on them, I stock up for the future because they ain't going bad and I will be wanting them. Also right now, I'm, I'm doing the whole nut, no nut thing. I've been doing it since last year. Occasionally having almond or occasionally having peanut butter but every time I have almonds or any kind of tree nuts I gain about seven pounds overnight I'm not allergic to them but they do cause inflammation in my body which causes my water weight to skyrocket because kiss my keto cookie dough bars are like my favorite thing in the world and I have not had one in a year because of that reason I'm not a big fan of any of the protein type keto bars, but that one, that one was like candy to me. So I miss it. And there is some quest bars that I don't mind. Um, I did, I do like the hero ones, but they're crazy sweet to me. Uh, I noticed that a lot of brands have come out with new bars that I have never tried before, new textures, new ingredients, but because I am so so gung-ho to get to my goal weight that I just, I'm not going to try them. Not yet. The ice cream yesterday was pushing it. I'm not sure if it affected my weight or not because the scale was up four points from yesterday. But like I said, that scale is insane. So I don't know what's true. I'll get on it and it'll have a very crazy low number. Step back off have the 170 again step back on it's crazy low and then look crazy high and i'm just like well i know the crazy high is not right because right now let me show you i'm wearing a pair of pants that's a size 11 and i've never been able to get into them so and my shirt is like crazy big on me now so i know the a higher number is not correct and i also did my inches this morning and my um Stomach has dropped a little more, not a whole inch, but it has dropped on the measuring tape. I'm not big into measuring on cam. It makes me very uncomfortable. I do promise that once I get to my in weight, um, that I'm going to show you what my skin looks like. Oh, that's really hard for me. Um, I'm going to start doing my squats and all that kind of stuff again and doing some arm stuff because I was really doing arm workouts in the pool every day all summer long and it's starting to get more jiggly because I haven't been in the pool for a month. So I got my dumbbells ready to go and I am going to start doing those every day and start doing my squats and doing some thigh exercises because I can't stand the loose skin on my thighs. But it is better than I thought it was going to be like a billion times better than I thought it was going to be and also it's way better than being 368 pounds and you can't move because you have tires all over your body so no matter how much skin you end up le left with it's so much better than the fat that was under the skin just saying at least that's how I view it so I better get going because I gotta get to my daughter's school I think soon so I will show you what I eat today and if I do anything, I will tell you because I talk about my day. I talk about keto. I talk about everything. It's just what I do here. It's not strictly keto. Um, when there's festivals, when the virus wasn't here, I took y'all along on all the festivals I went to. So one day, my channel will be going back to year-round festivals and stuff and showing you how you can stay keto there, showing you the cool events, um, but I gotta wait. Also, I can't wait to come meet some of y'all. There's a whole list of y'all that's not that far from me that I'm going to meet. One that's kind of really far from me, but I plan on going back to Fort Myers, and I'm going to meet her when I do get to go back. Um, I have a whole list of things I want to do, but we got to wait. Got to wait. And when they were saying it'll be the third quarter next year before the population gets any kind of vaccine, I almost fell out. My daughter started bursting out in tears because my whole family has severe underlying condition and my daughter especially, she has no immune system and she can't be near her friends. And we all lost it for a little while last night because we were like, what? We've been trapped since March and now we're going to be trapped a whole nother year? <sighs> I do take her to the mall like yesterday. There's no one there. The mall is completely dead now, um, but she had a panic attack in her mask. 
Oh, I gotta go. Why am I still talking? Because I don't know when to shut up. I'll show you the rest of my day. Okay, I'm completely exhausted. You can see where I had the headset on. I did my Oculus um, workout for an hour and 10 minutes, but I think I'm going to do some more later, but it is already 5.30. I haven't eaten today. I'm starving, so I'm about to make my second collagen coffee and make dinner, and I'll show you what I'm eating. Yes, I look like a mess, but I don't care because I'm about to go work out, and I'm crazy over the head over like totally in shock and so happy right this minute and I want to thank every single person and I was not expecting keto um chaos keto in the chaos to even shout me out and she did um I'm getting people from her channel over here now and I want to thank everyone keto diamond um losing Drea oh my gosh so many of y'all have even people I've never even heard of have been shouting me out on all different channels and all my followers y'all have been putting me on Facebook and Twitter and everything and guess why I just came home to 1006 1006 and now I am just up for review through YouTube so I am extremely crazy excited and happy. I didn't think I was going to make it and I probably wouldn't on my own, but I had all y'all to help me and I made it. Oh, I'm so excited right now. I mean like totally over the top excited. So thank y'all so, so, so much. Um, I want to keep growing the channel. And I want to bring content that everyone likes and fun and try to help people lose weight or just get out of their own heads right now so wow I don't even know what to say I'm just so so happy and in shock right now so we did it because now they're just doing the last review part which could take a little while because the whole virus they're a little backed up they said but the other two steps have all been taken care of and was taken care of before they sent the new to us and Lily told me like I already lost 15,000 watch hours um and it put me down to 15,000 left, and, but at the end of the month, they were all going to zero out, and I was going to have to start over trying to get 8K again, and then have to get re-evaluated again, and I'm just like, YouTube makes it really hard, but y'all made it so easy, so thank you, thank you so much. Now, I'm going to go work out. I should have totally showed y'all this before I actually took it out, but... This is the brand Skell I like to use for my body, which right here just came in. So I got to put it together so we can try it tomorrow morning. But I got a little set. I got one that is going to be for my food. And you supposedly can tie it to your phone through an app and stuff. So I have to figure all that out. Um, either way, it was on sale for $10. So I needed a new one. Also, banana clips came in, people. Banana clips. It's coming back in style, so I bought me some. Yes, I was the 80s and 90 girl rocking the banana clips. 6.30 and I'm having two burgers. I haven't had these in a while. They are going to be nasty cold because I had some crisis go on, like two sets of crisis. So they've been cooked for 45 minutes and I didn't even get to melt the cheese. Okay, so I'm making an ending to the video. I kind of made one earlier. I swear, I don't know why it's so dark. Maybe because I'm outside. Yeah. But I made it any earlier and I just hated it. It just was horribly all put together. I was kind of looking for the cats and not paying attention. And I might have tripped in the video. But yeah. So we're outside taking a walk real fast. Um, I think I might do more exercise. I'm just in an exercise mood. I tried that ground beef I was eating was 4.4 ounces. It is the Costco brand. I normally eat from the meat market a sirloin brand. The price is a huge difference. I was trying the Costco one, but I'm not sure if I can do it yet because I have stomach issues. Um, the sirloin just seems to work better for me, the less fat in it. Um, I didn't have too much issue. The only problem is that was only 4.4 ounces of meat. That's not enough protein for the day and I can't eat anymore. So either I'm going to have to get some chicken breasts to eat on the days that eat the hammer, or I'm going to have to go back to the sirloin so I can eat bigger amounts. And I'm getting a phone call, so I guess it's the end of my video, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to finish recording that. That's not going to be the ending of mine. <laughs> this will. So that was just, you know, interrupting me as always. 
So me and my daughter is just walking up and down um, to walk the front of our property from one end to the other. You know, you walk up and walk back down is almost a mile. Um, we're close to it. So that's what we're doing right now. Dina was yelling at us because of the wild pit bulls. Um, he was making sure I had a stick. I was like, I have a coffee cup. <laughs> and we have, we have a little cat toy on a string. We have, it, yeah, we have a cat toy on a string. <laughs> Maybe if we throw it, it'll go play with it. So, yeah, so we're doing our walk. Oh, the, um, I did put batteries and move scales. I'm not going to use the app for the food scale because I use Carb Manager and I don't think it will tie to it. And I use it really just to make my coffee. I use a different food scale for my foods. So, a lot of sirens today. It's a crazy amount of sirens. So, yeah. And I got on the other scale, the new one, for the body. And got on my old one. And they seem to match. So, I'm going to use the new one, though, because at least it ain't going up and down multiple different readings. Um, so, that'll at least be good. But, usually by now, I'm already coming down off this weight. I should have already dropped all my fluid from that time of the month plus gone down two pounds by now and I haven't but I also allowed myself to eat more calories I was eating 13 to 1400 um, I was allowing myself all these different products trying the ice cream so you know I have to do clean I have to do minimum ingredients I have to watch everything on this ending part of my journey the last 50 pounds has been a nightmare having to watch everything and now the last 20 I think is going to be worse. So we'll see. We'll see. If I lose 5 pounds this month I'm going to be thrilled because right now, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of stalling. I'm going to turn around because that's where the pit bulls live. Oh yes please. <sighs> no, I don't want to be in it. You weren't in it. I turned fast enough. Okay, so we are just going to continue this walk for a little bit until it gets a little darker. It's pretty dark already and we don't have street lights because we live in the country. Yes, we do. I'll show y'all. So, yeah. This is, you know. Oh no, I hear the pit bulls. And they are not friendly. They are mean. They have they have totally ripped my pants before when I ran from them. They have killed some of our animals. They killed people's goats, chickens, but there's no leash law, so they get away with it. RIP that one squirrel yesterday. So, okay. All right, we'll just go to the house. I guess we're done walking today because I was too loud, and now, now they're back there somewhere yelling, yelling their butt off. <laughs> so we will weigh in tomorrow morning and I will do my glucose and everything in the morning as well and start hitting it hardcore for the next 10 days working out every single day making sure I get 10 to 12,000 steps in a day plus my workouts and watching everything that goes inside my mouth.